there, Free Sky people. This is Steve, and today we're talking about flap elevator compensation. I was out flying last week with my buddy Bob at the field, and he said to me, Man, this is working great. I love my FR Sky radio. However, when I am flying and I put my flaps down, the nose balloons up, and I want a way to compensate for it. And is there a button or something you can push? And I said, it's not quite that easy, but I'll figure something out. So what I've done is I'm going to show you that I've set up a basic plane and I've set up flaps. The only thing I've done that's a little bit different here is that the flaps have... I'm going to switch this back to about three seconds here. It has about a three second delay for coming down. So let me show you what it looks like. We're going to go into outputs. And you can see whenever I push the flaps and they come down, you can see them come down at a nice speed. Everything's beautiful. Elevator's not moving. And what I want to have happen is I want the elevator to come down. And I don't want it to be one-to-one. -one. I don't want the elevator to come down 60 degrees when the flaps are down 60 degrees because, man, that would be scary. Um, probably want something about, I figured about 20 to 30% of that. So what we're going to do is I have to create something and there's nothing that's readily available. So you have to follow along with this. This is how I got it to work. I created a free mix, select that, put it in the last position. First thing I always do in the free mix is rename it. And I want a name that I can look at it and understand what this line does. Flap, elevator, you can abbreviate, comp. Okay. It should be always on, but it doesn't work that way. I'm going to use the switch position. So my flap switch is switch A and... I'm going to select switch A up, which means it's retracted. And why? Because I'm going to cheat really quickly. I'm going to long press on it and select invert, which means that instead of the switch A working when it's up, it only works when it's not in this position. So it, it has to be in switch A mid or switch A down. So this is the not. So what I'm saying is don't work on when it's switch A up, but work on the other two positions of the switch. And so hopefully you can follow along with that. Um, I always seem to forget the channel when I'm making this video. So I am going to say that channel two is the output. It's our elevator. And we need to select a source. What is it that's going to mimic allow us to make the flaps coming up and down well we can actually use a channel so guess which channel I want to use you guessed it I am going to use flaps 2 on channel 7 and the operation so this is for ethos 1.5 and higher and what this does is it shows a weight. Um, so the reason I make this Ethos 1.5 is because we're about to switch over to it. And these videos seem to stick around a while. So you kind of have to figure a way around if you're trying to do this and not Ethos 1.5. Something older like Ethos 1.4.17. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this. And it's going... At, this means that what we just set up is going to work absolutely perfectly. It's going to mimic at 100%. So whenever the, the flaps go down 60%, the elevator will go down 60%. Only problem with that is you'll probably crash your plane. And I'd say you're probably better off going down to about 20%. So you can... 20%, which means that it's going to, when it goes down 60%, it's going to go down 12% um, for the elevator. So let me show you what that looks like. 
go into outputs and you can see the elevator is now when you look right here the elevator in channel 2 is moving so when it's down 20% uh, it's only down 4% for the elevator. When the flaps are down 60%, it's 12%. And maybe you say, okay, nice to be conservative. You take it up, you fly it, and it's still blending up a little bit. And you think to yourself, man, I would really like if it was 25%. How do I fix that? You go in here and go back and find this. Go into edit, and you move this up to 25%. And what you'll find is when you do this, go back and you look, you can see that the numbers look a lot bigger as far as the elevator is concerned. It's going to about 5% to about 15%. Okay. One other thing I'll show you, if you're daring, you can... Go right here and you can select long press on it use a source and what that means is that we're going to use an analog if I had my radio with me all I would have to do is move the right slider but I want to use the right slider so you start off in the middle with the, with you know the slider pointing up you have that indent when you get to the middle and then take it up uh, the plane up three mistakes high and move that slider to the right and I would say probably about 20% of the way and fly with that and see if the flap and elevator compensation works and if it's still pitching up a little too much and move it down a little bit more you know to the right until and try it again and keep playing with it until you find a value that works for you and when you do find something that works for you, what you do is you go back to edit, go back to this value, and then say convert to value. And then that will, whatever you found on that slider to be the right position will now be turned to numeric value, hopefully larger than zero. And that is the value you selected. So in one flight you could probably get this nailed down pretty quickly. Okay and I want to prove one other thing which is if you go back in and you decide I really like my flaps go down a little bit slower I'm going to change this to let's call this eight seconds. Nice slow it's ridiculously slow but I want to make sure that the elevator is being compensated at the same time. So you go back into outputs and it's retracting quickly. But when these things are coming down, it's nice and slow. There's your 20%. Oh, the reason why this isn't working is because we converted that value. I was not paying attention right here. We moved this to zero because I was showing you how to use the source. Let's go back to, we'll call this 20%. One more time, I just want to show you that. Now you go back when it has an actual value, you see that it actually does move. When it's all the way up, it's zero. When it's down, it is. Uh, 4% and then you can see slowly that it's as the flaps come down the elevators coming down so it's mimicking the travel of the flaps with the elevator and that should do it if you have any questions please feel free to write them in the comments have a great day